Right, morning all. Here we are at Crew Motorcycle Centre again. And look, the test bike has arrived for the Gorilla 450. How small does it look? It looks tiny. Yeah. Now, ooh, I'm not uh, going to go into great detail because I've already done a uh, done a walk round review. So we'll just go for a spin. I've changed the uh, clock background to black, uh, hoping that uh, it'll stop some of the flicker, the conflict with the um, the camera. So uh, right. <coughs> And do that and away we go and so turn right here there's traffic lights like there are bloody everywhere at the moment Whew. it's all right just trying to get a bit used to that throttle it's an eager beaver i tell you that Put the mirrors out yeah, Roger, Roger contacted me earlier on and said that uh, it's landed. So, uh, perfect timing because uh, we go home on Thursday and uh, Roger's shut on Wednesday, tomorrow. Right. So we'll do this bit of time, time work here. And then, and then we'll. Uh, what I want to do is go up the motorway, um, like I did the last time I rode the Himalayan 450. I want to see what its motorway manners are like. Um, now, as much as this is a review for you guys to enjoy, it's mainly for me because um, I really, really am tempted with this bike. Um, I've got a classic 350 called Clementine, as most of you will know. Uh, and I quite fancy having one of these, just for, just for those occasions when I might want to be a bit naughty, you know. I can't, I can't portray how, how small it feels. Uh, now where the, uh, the Royal Enfield Classics, like, you know, if you like the Classic 350 or the Meteor or uh, even the Hunter to a certain degree, uh, I hark back to what 60s maybe a bit of 70s I look at these and I think 80s I still I still think the retro um, and it, it reminds me of especially the uh, Brava blue which is white with um, blue stripes and the blue front wheel black black rear wheel with a blue sticker on it um, they remind me of what people were doing to their bikes in the 80s, uh, like the 350 LCs. Um, now this bike, uh, I believe, is one of those that was um, used on the press launch in Spain. So it's already running. So we don't have to be too careful on the revs, you know. Nice little pop, pop, pop out the exhaust. Um, now, th this was designed at the same time as the Himalayan 450, or the 452 as it's commonly known. Um, yeah. So it's not something that they've made out of the Himalayan. It was designed alongside the Himalayan. Uh, 
Um, now I, I've taken the Himalayan out twice and I, uh, it's, it's a stonking bike, it really is. The, the engine that's in this is absolutely unbelievable. Obviously it's the first foray that Royal Enfield has made into water cooling, liquid cooling. Come on fella. Um, for me I'd have to raise the gear lever up a notch. It's a little bit low for me. Tell you something, it just wants to carve up these roundabouts. Um, but if you're going to be commuting, the ideal tool for the job. Comfortable seats so far. The suspension is soaking up all these horrible roads that we've got. Got a full tank of fuel as well. Yeah, so we're going to be going up here to a big roundabout and then we'll take, um, I think it's a B road, uh, towards a place called Old Sager. Uh, and then we'll turn right to a place called Barton Lee. Then left up the M6 to the, just one junction. Uh, and then back via some lanes, I think. I'll try and remember to stop and take a photo somewhere as well. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> oh, I, I, uh, I found that with the Himalayan, that when you uh, open it up a bit, um, the, the airbox is underneath the tank, and you can hear this really nice roar. So we've got to play tunes on that. Now it's remembering to get which blinking lane to get in here now. Clutch is nice and light. Come on. Take a left here. So nimble. We'll see just how nimble it is now. Sorry if you're getting whistled in. It's because it's actually a quite warm day today, even though it's overcast. The brakes are brilliant, by the way. Don't know if you can hear the uh, intake roar. Oh, 
this is sublime. Brakes are good. Oh, the roads here are terrible. Ooh. Oh, the talk. That brake, brilliant just to steady yourself. I'm so happy it stopped raining by the way. Just, just that mirror up a bit. Yeah. God, it, yeah, it's a 450 single. So, you know, we're not going to, uh, we're not going into higher booster territory here, are we? But it's all usable. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Oh. Uh, when I saw them, I thought, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be really keen on one of these. Um, and this ride, just in this short distance, uh, I need one of these in my life. It's a 30 mile hour limit all the way through here, but um, Mr. Car Driver behind you right up my bum. Bad uh, pull away, was it in fifth? The seat is really comfortable. Now I'm going to take a right turn here to get down to the uh, this junction 16 on the M6. And then we'll fly up to junction 17 then. Yep, another good lad. That was uh, clutchless gear changes. Yeah, you do have to just back the throttle off when you go up, but... Unlike a quick shifter where you, where you can just leave it pinned, you know? Oh, the motorway looks busy. Uh, but the idea for me is that uh, I live on the Lancashire Cumbria border. Uh, sometimes I feel like just going up the M6 to Penrith and then doing some of the uh, roads up in the higher lakes, to the top end of the Lake District. Uh, I have to apologise by the way, um, the picture quality on this video won't be to my usual standard um, because uh, we're away at the moment so I'm relying on my old and slow laptop and uh, mobile internet. Uh, now my old and slow laptop won't uh, allow me to the software to edit in the 
2.7k so uh, but hopefully this 1080p hopefully it's uh, good enough for you as my friend uh, Ainsworth Ryder said the quality doesn't really matter it's what you think about it that does and I gotta say James <laughs> it's a bloody good bike Right, take a left turn here now. Up the motorway. The tyres are nice and neutral. Hell of a smell of diesel somewhere. Um, I'm not going to fiddle around with the dash um, There's plenty of other people that have so Right so here we are sitting at uh, well 69 mile an hour 70 No it hasn't got cruise control before anyone asks Good visibility out the mirrors I could maybe just do with moving that up a little bit. Um, uh, because it's. I just. I don't know if it'll. No, it's about the most it'll go up. Um, yeah, there's no fairing on it, so no screen. So it's, it's clean air coming and hitting you. So what you're getting is the air off the other vehicles. Uh, hopefully this isn't distorted too much. Uh, my voice. But I mean this is reality isn't it? Look at the traffic here. Yeah, they're perfectly fine you know. Doing 70 mile an hour near enough, 68. Perfectly comfortable. God, it's busy. Uh, yeah, as a rule, I don't really like motorways. You know, it's a means to an end. Um, fortunately where we are up there then very very rarely are they this busy right we're back again we're just coming off now at junction 17 um, now on the Himalayan 450 uh, some people were talking about vibrations in the bars through the seat through the tank uh, tank <laughs> listen to me through the handlebars uh, through the foot pegs um, I, I can honestly, honestly tell you now, there wasn't any whatsoever, nothing, as smooth as butter. Right, we need to find some lanes now. I need to turn right. Uh, if it went straight on it would take me to uh, the roundabout then I turn right there's some lights and whatever so um, we'll go through through Sandbatch uh, that is if I can remember it's a long time since I've been down this bit actually
I tell you, it, it, it feels tiny, this bike does. You know, like uh, putting your feet down or whatever, is no hassle whatsoever. I mean, I am five foot nine with a 30 inch inside leg. I'll tell you something, it just wants to go this thing. That is, it is impressive. Nice little uh, pop pop on the on the overrun. Hmm, got a lot of turn in here, where's that go? Like I say it's a long long time since I've been down here. But look at this, you know, we're holding 32, well, yeah, 32 indicated, so that'll be what, about 28. And it's no snatchiness from the throttle at all. It's ride by, ride by wire. Uh, so, you know, obviously no cables. Um, but it's so smooth. Brakes, brilliant brakes. Up, 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 up. On the, the overrun is really nice. Now oh, this might have been a bit of a mistake actually. Never mind. So lift my visor up into neutral, no problem. Yeah, like I'm sitting standing here now, obviously the bike's leaning over to the side a little bit. My foot, feet are flat foot, footed. Um, I don't know where I am. I've got to go that way anyway. Uh, yeah, my feet are flat footed and um, my uh, knee was slightly bent. So. Actually, this hasn't brought me out quite where I thought it was going to. Never mind. So, yeah, it. you know, anyway, time work, fine. This might be, end up being quite a long video, actually. That's it, fella. filtering I'm getting a lot of nods today oh hello had a bit of resurfacing work here right outside the Cheshire East uh, head office shame they're not as keen everywhere else lovely smooth gearbox do you mean? knees bent look positive clunk into first uh, like I say I would raise the gear lever probably up once if it's on a spline or it might be on an adjuster because uh, I'm having to get my foot down quite sharp uh, angle to flick it up um, now I did find a nice turning left and some lanes uh, when I was on the Hemi Let's see if we can find the same one. In a place called Moston. Uh, I used to deliver to a lot of the garages and what around here when, uh, back in the 80s in the Sherpa van or the Marina van. Uh, but it's a long time since I've been down these uh, prior to when I rode the Hemi 450. 
Right, now then, where's that bloody turning? Uh, that's not it. It's this one here. Oh, there's a bit of uh, loose gravel and whatever down there. Certainly keen on the throttle. Bit rough this. <laughs> Big bottle. Let me take a right. Now there's um, a, a section up here which the camera won't portray it but it's like the road just goes boom, disappears. Uh, but then I'll stop then and take a photo. I mean there are plenty of slow signs warning you of, of this anomaly. This is a good bike. This is it, slow, hidden dip. But I'm not going to fly down it because I want to take a photo at the bottom. You see what I mean? Look how it disappears. Right, I'll take a photo here. Straight into uh, neutral, no problem. Uh, I forgot to mention in the uh, walk around, there's a little USB point there with a USB C connection so you can have your phone or whatever. Because obviously, the the uh, screen um, has got a is it the, the Google Maps trip navigation thing that you can link to your phone but your phone's going to run out of battery isn't it so you can always plonk your phone there and you've still got that going on there and the bat the phone's not running out of charge right take a photo back in a minute right i don't know if you can tell that now look at the look at the rise on that The, uh, the seat has got like it, it, it's sculptured, uh, and your bum sits nicely in you know in the back of the sculpture. So when you throttle on, it uh, holds you in place. You don't slide backwards. The brakes are awesome. Acceleration is brilliant. Suspension's fine, you know, bearing in mind these flipping roads. Brakes, great. God. Uh, yeah, if you want to want to uh, see more detailed photos, like I say, have a look at my previous video on this. Because uh, I, I, I do put up a lot of photos. Wrong gear then, should have been in fourth. This is a very, very, very good bike. I'm not, I'm not saying that because I'm smitten, because obviously I am. It 
it's a proper b-roll blaster it just does it honestly it takes me back uh, back to the 80s the early 80s at that oh fantastic <laughs> you know not everyone gets excited with a 40 brake horsepower bike do they you know uh, oh, don't need it what a place to stop you plonker You know, there, there was the reality, wasn't it? You, you know, you, you come tanking round there on a bike that's uh, faster than your capabilities. You'd have been right up the back end of it. I think this is a 40, yes, a 40. We're going to take a left here now. your back. Oh, well. uh, now I just want to make it clear before anyone said yeah but you're only used to your classic 350. I've had some pretty big bikes 1200 Bandit for one. Uh, I've had well Christ a last count I think it was about 55 60 bikes uh, in my biking career. So no, I am used to having it, some, riding something with a better go. I don't want to wait for him. Uh, one thing I will say, it's a bit of a hooligan. Throttle is not sna not snatchy at all, by the way. If anything, the suspension might be a tad on the firm side, but it, it it's oh bloody hell, it's good. Uh, ordinarily I would turn left here and head back to the shop but I'm not I don't want to go back TR6 uh, T TR6 TR4A there They've uh, like come up with these to try and Royal Enfield. This is I've tried to uh, attract a younger, uh, younger people to the fold. But there is enough on tap here uh, to keep us more mature and experienced riders happy. Believe me. I really, really suggest that anyone goes and takes one out for a test run, preferably one that's got a few miles on it. Exhaust notes a bit, you know, it is what it has to be, I suppose, to get through 
uh, regulations or whatever. Uh, but AEW, uh, the company that I think they're Indian, but uh, there is a, a a company in Britain that sells them AEW pipes. Uh, yeah, they've done one a silencer for the Himalayan 450, and I don't actually know whether the frame to exhaust correlation is exactly the same, but there, there won't be a lot in it, if at all. So I would think that might be one of the uh, things to change. This much fun was on a Honda Hornet 750 when I took one of them out. Uh, admittedly, the, the speeds I was going on that were a bit quicker, but and the bike's a lot more expensive. I mean, don't forget, don't forget this bike. Uh, on the road, five thousand and 50 pounds five thousand and fifty pounds on the road it's bonkers value isn't it takes obviously not a problem oh I am in love with this bike you know, for those days when, uh, like I say, when you just want to be a, a bit of a hooligan. As uh, just a quote, uh, something from Bike Magazine from the 80s. And that is, when, just when, on those occasions when you want to leave, take your brain out and leave it in a safe place. Love it, love it, love it. Now, I always try and find something wrong. Yeah, the speedo is over there and not in the middle. I'm getting to the point now where that doesn't bother me because uh, a lot of the bikes are going that way. Um, what else? Uh, there's a video online, by the way, showing some of the accessories that uh, Royal Enfield have already made for these. And there's a nice little cowling thing, that, cowling thing that goes around there. Um, I can't see them being that expensive. Uh, yeah, what's wrong with it? I don't know. The suspension is on the firm side, uh, but that's where you get the sharp handling. Because if it was a bit softer, I don't think it would handle as well. Uh, but it's not uncomfortably so.
yeah absolutely it's, it's just I'm almost speechless you said really you've been waffling on all the way here <laughs> It certainly puts a smile on your face, let's put it that way. So you just uh, bang it down one, wind it on. Yeah, it's a it's it's a very 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 good bike. Roll on. Um, now I know a few people have uh, already had a put deposits on them or whatever. I mean, the dealers have got them, so you can just go out and buy one now. Uh, unfortunately, I can't because I haven't got the money. Um, if I had, I would be. Uh, the hand signal there, by the way, is not because uh, I don't have faith in the indicators, because I do. It's just that I don't have faith in other people being able to read or see or whatever. It's just something I do. Uh, I'm going to take a bit of a detour now, um, and I'm not going to take you with me. Um, so, in a minute, I'll turn you off and then I'll bring you back again. the Barony Park there, that's where Pip goes for a walk sometimes when we're down visiting my parents. Uh, to anyone that's not subscribed to me, Pip is my uh, our uh, little uh, Jack Russell Terrier. I keep forgetting that people uh, who will be watching this probably won't be subscribed to me. Well there's a, there's a thing, subscribe to me. Because if the, all the stars align, I'll be getting one of these. Right, I'm going to turn you off now. Right, I've got you back again. Uh, my dad's an old school biker, if you like, motorcyclist. He had a BSA shooting star, uh, was his last bike. So I just thought I'd nip and show it to him. Uh, because he did have a Royal Enfield uh, back in the day as well. 250 I think uh, when I stopped before by the way uh, and I felt the uh, rear tyre uh, it does get some heat into it Um, yeah, I know I've given it a bit round the lanes and uh, you know, seen what it uh, is capable of, but um, at the end of the day, you don't have to ride it like that, do you? I just can't. I just can't believe the 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 price of them. I'll bring you back in a bit. Yeah, it's. Uh, I just filtered past a lot of the traffic there, and it's 
it's, it's, it's so easy. Probably get your knee down on this. <laughs> I wouldn't. So so flickable. It's it. Uh, so good. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, I can't really find anything wrong with it. Apart from the gear lever wanting adjusting up. So that's 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 personal, isn't it? And I, I think this uh you know this colour suit really does suit it. I really like this colour. Uh, I could go through the menus and try and find out what I'm doing to the gallon, but I can't be bothered. It don't bother me. I'm guessing that someone will ask the question, how many miles to the gallon does it do? Here's the answer. Don't know, don't care. I just can't, I just can't, uh, I can't shut up about it, I'm very sorry. The, the mirrors, there's no blurring, absolutely perfect. Um, I see plenty behind, like I say, the only thing I might do is just undo those bolts there, just tilt it a little bit, just so that it's, it's a little bit low there, I don't think there's any more height adjustment on that. That grunt is just fantastic. I mean, it, that grunt was absolutely brilliant on that Himalayan, the Himalayan 450. So I don't know whether, I don't know whether they've changed something. I mean, obviously, the Himalayan was on bigger wheels. I mean, this running 17-inch ones. It just feels so small. That's what, that's what gets me. Look at these bars. Look how chunky they are. Yeah, this video is going to be a long one. Uh, hopefully you will enjoy it. Um, there aren't that many UK reviews. Choice Park in there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, there aren't that many UK reviews yet. Uh, as I'm doing this, there's two that I know of. Right, so as we get close to the bike shop. What a bike, what a bike, what a bike. Right, so, there you have it my first ride review on the absolutely superb Royal Enfield Gorilla 450. What a bike. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that video. I'd like to thank Roger at Crew Motorcycle Centre massively for uh, giving me the heads up that it was here. So uh, there it is. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Big thumbs up if you would. Um, by the way, Roger has got stock, so if you're in the position to buy one, come and buy one. I would. So, um, shall we just have a look under the seat? I've not done this yet, so let's have a look. Put the key in. Oh, that. That's all. Oh, yeah. Battery, injection system, your relay and fuse isn't that there. No room re really for anything. That there is a nut for the. Uh, front spindly thing let me just make sure you're still on yeah you're still on 
uh, for the front hub nut there, spindle nut. Yeah, that's about it. So you can't get anything underneath anyway. That's it, it's on. How easy was that? Not faffing around, bloody trying to put bloody thing back on. Right, so there you go. Right, so big thumbs up. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the rest of it, whatever. This, as soon as I'm in a position, I'm having it. Well, I'm having one of these in this colour. Right, thanks now. Bye. Mm -hmm.